Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about smart wind turbine control design using MATLAB. Here we are incorporating supervisory control, pitch angle control, MPPT and uh, directing strategies for optimal performance. This example shows how to model, parameterize and test a wind turbine with a supervisory pitch angle, a maximum power point tracking and directing control. Let's see the model, uh, small introduction about smart wind turbine control design using MATLAB. Here we are designing a wind turbine with a supervisory pitch angle, MPPT and directing control involves multiple steps including modeling, parameterizing and testing. Here we, we can go, go going to see about N1 by 1. Wind turbine modeling, parameterization, supervisory controller and pitch angle controller. How, how we can make? The first step is to model the wind turbine using mathematical equations and simulation software, MATLAB software. This model should do include physical components of the turbine such as rotor blades, generator, gearbox and controller. And also this model uh, consider environmental factors such as wind speed, direction and turbulence. The second step is once the turbine model is created, it is important to parameterize, the, uh, uh, parameterize it to ensure that it operates efficiently and safely. This involves selecting appropriate values for various parameters such as blade length, blade angle, generator rating and controller gains. The third one is a supervisor controller. This controller is responsible for managing the overall operation of the wind turbine including startup, shutdown and emergency procedures. The controller must ensure that the turbine operates within safe limits while maximizing the energy production. The fourth one is the pitch angle control. This, con this control is used to adjust the angle of the rotor blades to optimize power production while avoiding the damage to the turbine. The pitch angle controller adjusts the angle of the blade based on the wind speed and, and other environmental fa factors as a, uh, such as this control strategy can be implemented using various techniques for example PA controller or state feedback control. Here we are using state, state flow machine. The next one, MP, the important one is the maximum power point tracking control. This control is used to track maximum power point of the wind turbine by adjusting the generator speed. This control strategy adjusts generator speed based on the wind speed and other environmental factors to ensure that the turbine operates at the optimal operating point. The final one is the important one, there is a directing control. It is used to limit the power output of the turbine when it is operating under adverse conditions such as high wind speeds or extreme temperatures. The directing control algorithm reduces the generator speed or adjusts the blade angle to prevent damage to the turbine. Finally, once you are uh, the designing, after that, the testing is the important one. After the turbine model is parameterized, the control algorithms are implemented. It is necessary to test the system under various operating conditions. This can be done using sim MATLAB simulation software or through physical testing of a prototype turbine. By using MATLAB Simulink to model, parameterize and test a wind turbine supervisory pitch angle MPPT and directing control involves creating a Simulink model of the turbine, parameterizing the model, designing and implementing the control algorithms and testing the system under various operating conditions using Simulink simulation capabilities. Let us see the model. This is a model overview of smart wind turbine control design using MATLAB. This has several blocks, several subsystems are there. First one is the turbine, cu turbine coupled uh, with grid and uh, transformer. Here there are three different wind profiles are allotted for this to run this model. Here you can see, see you can uh, set the profile 1, 2 or 3 based on that you can run the model. Before that, before you start the sim simulation you need to in initialization script to, you, you can run the initialization script to explore the, explore the parameters. Finally, these are uh, supervisory control, these are turbine pitch control, this is where uh, MPPT directing with the limiter control. These are all the subsystems are uh, used for this smart wind turbine control design using MATLAB. Okay, then these are the initialization script to explore the parameters. You, you, you need to loading the wind turbine power coefficient table and also MPPT characteristic and also the turbine radius, low speed uh, inertia, high speed inertia, based on that you need to give some uh, initialization script to, to the uh, explore parameters here there is a, these are all all the all the things are in mat format that is your um, um, that is your turbine power coefficient table this one mppt characteristic table this is a directing table these are all available in in my youtube channel description box kindly download it before you run this model you need to run this script file also this is a first subsystem called supervisory control subsystem this one supervisory control subsystem that is a nothing but turbine state machine here uh, this subsystem demonstrate how to model the wind turbine state machine the, the turbine state machine f defines these are all the four different uh, wind turbine states 
the first one is a park break mode this is the entry mode of the wind turbine operation the next one is the startup mode this wind turbine enters the startup mode from the park break mode when the wind speed is under the permissible limits uh, for safer operation the third one is the generating mode here the wind turbine enters the generating mode from startup mode when the wind turbine rotor speed goes above the turbine cut in the speed the next one is the final one the pitch break mode in this mode and the wind turbine enters pitch break mode from the generating mode when the wind speed and uh, turbine rotation speeds are not under the permissible limits is a wind turbine system this wind turbine system has a larger time constant and slower response than traditionally uh, dfig generator system these are all the result we are going to see uh, the first figure shows the supervisory control states uh, turbine blade with pitch angle generator generating power and also wind speed the second picture shows the smaller generator is a plot of uh, states uh, transitions the normalized physical quantities such as the wind speed wind turbine rotation speed and generator power and pitch angles also we can see now let us see the model this is our model uh, wind turbine model this one here you need to uh, double click on that subsystem you can get this state flow machine the turbine state machine similarly each and every every block these are wind turbine subsystem in this stream you can see the rotor hub and the rotor blade inertia all the things you can get the measurement filter also there here there is a turbine pitch controller block in this block we can see the four different uh, conditions there is a park break and pitch break and startup conditions and power generation conditions these are all the things are available in this subsystem these were uh, outputs output scopes it has a pitch break state parking break state generator drip state turbine operating state pitch angle generator power and wind speed also here these are the subsystems called as mppt directing with limited controller here you can see these are uh, limited limited function power demand and mppt control mppt control subsystem is there to find the maximum power point tracking is a, is also having uh, grid and transformer section here there is a wind profiles are giving the three different profile set the, if you are selecting one it acts a um, it, it runs the model here by choosing this clicking this one you can see the uh, model one and model two now let us see the simulation these are all the results are available for this both uh, scopes simscape and uh, simscape result explorer now you can see is the output uh, is available in the special type of simscape result explorer for this uh, applications here each and every every block you can see the waveforms is a model tree structure having and this one this is a neutral port and the parasitic capacitance and what is a transformer n1 transformer and n2 transformer what is a mechanical rotation these are uh, these are a subsystem called wind turbine subsystem in this subsystem you can see the plots for uh, ps terminator based on that you can see each and every every part of the block you can see the output like this this is a model based one the same thing for now uh, simulation is going on there it's, uh, it shows the pitch break state and parking break state generator strip state and uh, turbine operation state is a pitch angle degree generated power and wind speed in this uh, transition state transition we can see the uh, pitch break state parking break state and these are the state transition and the physical quantity is normalized by safety limit value in this manner you can uh, optimize optimize the uh, wind turbine wind turbine model tur turbine coupled with the grid and transformer and also has the um, con controllers mppt directing with the limited controllers and also supervisory controllers and the turbine pitch controllers by using this optimization of smart wind turbine control design using matlab this is incorporating supervisory control and pitch angle mppt and directing strategies for optimal performance i hope you enjoy this video if you, if you are new viewer of my channel means kindly subscribe my channel and also um, help to others researchers also in their in the, this model um, you can get this for research purpose 
or your study purpose it is available in my youtube channel description box you can download it and and uh, study well and also thanks for watching thank you thank you so much